Well, cast your mind back to February last year, and you may remember the excitement when NASA successfully landed its Perseverance rover on Mars. Over a decade ago, NASA began a journey on Mars that would change our understanding of the Red Planet forever. First, they sent Curiosity, a rover built not just to explore, but to search for ancient life and map the Red Planet's desolate terrain. Then four years ago, Perseverance joined the mission, and together these two rovers have captured something breathtaking, real footage of Mars. The images reveal a harsh alien landscape with jagged rocks, towering hills, and deep shadowy craters. But what more have they uncovered in these silent Martian deserts? Let's find out. For centuries, that mysterious red glow in the sky has stirred our imagination. We've wondered, could Mars harbor life? It wasn't until 1964 with the launch of Mariner 4 that we got a real glimpse of the red planet. As the first spacecraft to fly by Mars, Mariner 4 sent back images of a cratered landscape, not the smooth, Earth-like planet some had imagined. This groundbreaking discovery lit the spark for Mars exploration. Then in the 1970s, the Viking missions took it a step further by landing on Mars. For the first time, we could analyze the soil directly and search for signs of life. While no life was found, the data collected forever changed our understanding of Mars' atmosphere and harsh, hostile surface. By the 1990s, with Pathfinder and its rover Sojourner, Mars' exploration reached new heights. Sojourner showed us we could explore the Martian surface, moving across the rocks and dust, setting the stage for more ambitious missions. The Mars Global Surveyor mapped the planet's terrain in incredible detail, and in 2001, Mars Odyssey found hydrogen beneath the surface, a possible indicator of water and maybe even life. However, one of NASA's most daring missions began with the launch of the Curiosity rover on November 26, 2011. As part of the Mars Science Laboratory mission, Curiosity was a game changer, a larger, more advanced rover than anything NASA had ever sent to Mars. After nine intense months traveling through space, Curiosity reached Mars on August 6, 2012, landing in the Gale Crater. But this landing wasn't your typical touchdown. It was what NASA famously called seven minutes of terror. In those critical moments, a complex landing sequence unfolded, including a risky sky crane maneuver that lowered Curiosity onto Mars using cables. Remarkably, it worked perfectly, and Curiosity was ready to explore. So what makes Curiosity so remarkable? One of its most impressive instruments, ChemCom, uses a laser to vaporize rocks and analyze their composition. Another device, SAM, is a mini laboratory that searches for organic compounds, hunting for signs of ancient life. Powered by a radioisotope thermoelectric generator, Curiosity runs nonstop, day or night, through Mars seasons. The mission cost a hefty $2.5 billion, but it's been worth every penny. So what groundbreaking discoveries has Curiosity made? Right off the bat, Curiosity found something that changed how we think about Mars, organic compounds. By analyzing rock samples from Gale Crater, it detected carbon-based molecules, essential ingredients for life. Although these compounds don't prove that life ever existed on Mars, they hint that Mars might have once had the right conditions to support it. Scientists examine isotopes in methane and carbon dioxide, finding data that could be linked to ancient biological activity. This discovery sparked excitement worldwide, fueling more questions about Mars's history and inspiring future missions to keep searching for signs of life. Curiosity also detected methane fluctuations in Mars' atmosphere. Methane on Earth often originates from living organisms, so this finding raises fascinating questions. Although Curiosity can't confirm if Mars's methane has a biological source, it's a clue that something intriguing is happening on the planet. And that's not all. Curiosity has been helping scientists piece together Mars's geological timeline. Rocks in Gale Crater are about 4 billion years old, but Curiosity found that some rocks near Yellowknife Bay became sedimentary before being exposed to radiation. Understanding this timeline gives scientists clues about Mars' erosion, radiation levels, and how these conditions could affect any organic materials preserved in rocks. 
Perhaps most exciting is what Curiosity's findings reveal about Mars's watery past. We all know water is essential for life, and Curiosity's discovery of the mineral gerasite, which only forms in water, is strong evidence that liquid water once flowed on Mars. Even more surprising, this gerasite is younger than expected, suggesting that Mars may have had subsurface water even as the surface dried. This extends the timeline during which Mars might have been habitable, making the red planet's history even more fascinating. Curiosity has also shed light on Mars' climate evolution. By studying the ratio of deuterium to hydrogen in water samples, Curiosity helps scientists understand how hydrogen has been escaping from Mars' atmosphere over time. This slow loss of hydrogen means Mars has gradually dried out, transforming from a warm, wet environment to the cold, barren landscape we see today. These findings offer critical insight into Mars' climate history and its potential for supporting life. One final surprise came with the discovery of fixed nitrogen, nitrogen in a form that life can use, in some of the Martian rocks. Nitrogen is vital for life, and finding it on Mars means that about 3.5 billion years ago, conditions may have been suitable for life to develop. With these discoveries, Curiosity has not only given us a clearer picture of Mars, but also hints at the possibility that Mars long ago may have been a place where life could have thrived. Now, after Curiosity's success, NASA decided to up the ante with another rover, Perseverance. Launched on July 30th, 2020, Perseverance touched down on Mars on February 18th, 2021, in the intriguing Jezero Crater, where scientists believe an ancient river and lake once flowed. This spot could be the perfect place to search for signs of ancient life. The landing was intense. Like curiosity, Perseverance had to go through the seven minutes of terror, speeding into Mars' atmosphere at 12,000 miles per hour, deploying a parachute, and using a sky crane to touch down softly, all autonomously. Perseverance brought big upgrades. Equipped with 19 cameras, it captures HD images and videos, aiding scientists in studying the Martian surface for signs of microbial life. One unique feature, MOXIE, can create oxygen from Mars CO2, a huge step for future missions. Plus, Perseverance carries a high-tech drill to collect soil and rock samples possibly for a return mission to Earth. Joining Perseverance was the remarkable Ingenuity helicopter, a four-pound marvel built to test powered flight in Mars' thin atmosphere. Its success led to an extended mission where it scouted terrain, aiding Perseverance in exploration. Over nearly three years, Ingenuity made 72 flights, covering over 17 kilometers. Though its mission ended in January 2024 due to rotor damage, Ingenuity's journey proved how crucial aerial exploration could be for future Mars missions. So what exactly has Perseverance discovered on Mars? The choice to land this rover in Jezero Crater was no small decision. Scientists hoped the site would provide incredible insights, though they weren't entirely sure what types of rocks Perseverance would encounter. Some expected ancient lava flows covering the crater floor. Others thought sedimentary rocks carried in by wind or water were more likely. Then during its first year, Perseverance made an unexpected find. It identified various types of igneous rocks, including solidified lava and rocks formed from slowly cooling magma. Many of these rocks contained crystals that held clues about the Martian environment at the time they formed. Even more intriguing, some rocks showed signs of past interactions with water, hinting at conditions that might have supported microbial life. If these samples returned to Earth, they could reveal the secrets of Mars' volcanic past in the age of Jezero's geological formations. In February 2022, Perseverance captured an amazing panoramic view of an area called Santa Cruz. This panorama, crafted from 24 images, gave scientists a close look at Jezero's boulders and landscape. Later at a rock formation dubbed Wildcat Ridge, Perseverance found compelling evidence of an ancient lake environment. The sediments in Wildcat Ridge were likely laid down in standing water and continued interacting with water long after they first settled. Such environments could have been ideal for ancient microbial life, and these sedimentary rocks are among the best at preserving potential signs of past life. Perseverance also uncovered clues about Jezero Crater's complex water history. While scientists already knew a lake once filled the crater, 
New images from Perseverance showed sediments arranged in a delta, pointing to a dynamic past where water flowed in and out over time. The rover even found signs of high-energy floods that left behind large boulders, evidence of powerful forces at work. Now scientists are trying to figure out where those late-stage floods originated, but Perseverance's discoveries go beyond geology. It also achieved something groundbreaking with MOXIE, a device that produced oxygen from Mars's carbon dioxide-rich atmosphere. In a series of 16 test runs, MOXIE generated around four ounces, 122 grams of oxygen, enough to sustain an astronaut for about four hours. This small success is a huge step, showing that oxygen production on Mars is possible, which could be essential for future human missions. MOXIE's final run was completed in September 2023, marking the end of a pioneering experiment. For the first time, Perseverance recorded sounds on Mars using onboard microphones, allowing scientists to hear the Martian wind and other noises, like those from its dust removal tool. These recordings revealed that sound travels slower on Mars than on Earth due to the planet's thin carbon dioxide atmosphere. The atmospheric pressure, which varies with the seasons, even changes the volume of sounds. During low pressure seasons, the microphone picked up almost total silence. Sounds that would be loud on Earth are quieter and more muffled on Mars, and high-pitched sounds like whistles become nearly inaudible. Perseverance wasn't alone in these discoveries. Its companion, the small helicopter Ingenuity, has been a valuable asset. Both Perseverance and Curiosity have sent back remarkable visual evidence of Mars to Earth. So, what's next in the search for life on Mars? NASA's future plans are ambitious. The rovers are gathering samples that could hold vital clues about Mars's ancient history, and scientists hope to bring them back to Earth by 2033 as part of the Mars Sample Return Program. This mission will involve several steps. A lander will retrieve the samples collected by Perseverance and Curiosity, launch them into Mars orbit, and then transfer them to an orbiter for the journey back to Earth. This monumental task is a key piece of NASA's vision for Mars exploration. Each discovery that Perseverance makes is helping lay the foundation for one of the most important missions in space exploration, bringing Mars samples to Earth. And who knows what hidden mysteries these samples might reveal? That's a wrap for today. What do you think about all this? Share your thoughts in the comments and don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell to stay updated with our latest videos. While you're here, check out the video on your screen for even more intriguing content. There's plenty more to explore.